Welcome to Project 71 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be just creating this drag and drop component by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here you can see we have this random image right here. If I just click on that. So here you can see we can now drag and drop it to anywhere we want right here. Okay. In these boxes. And you can also notice these um, border and also these greenish colors. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. So to do that first of all let me just create a folder and i'm gonna give him a name of like 071 of drag and drop component so inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just tile.css and the third one we will have is like app.js for javascript so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code I'm gonna write my doc type HTML in here and I'm gonna just write like drag and drop. And now let's just link that to our CSS file and also to our JavaScript. So now I'm gonna just hide my metadata from there. So now let me just hide that. I'm gonna right click on it and open it with live server. So it will now open it with live server. All right, so underneath this body tag, we are going to be just writing our HTML. The first thing I'll do is I'll just create a div with a class of empty. And inside this div, we are going to be creating a div with a class of fill. Okay, and I'm gonna also give an attribute of like draggable and it will be set to true. Okay, so underneath this div, we are going to be creating a few empty divs. So I'll just write like empty and I'm gonna just duplicate like three times. So now we have these four divs right here. So now once we save it and we are done with the HTML side, so now let's jump right into a CSS and now let's just tile that. So the first thing I would do is I'm gonna select my uh, I want to select everything and then I'll just provide a box size on a border box. I'm going to get to my body and then just change the background color to be like RGB of like 14 and 13 and then 13 one more time. Okay, so underneath this background color, we are going to be writing a display of legs, a line item will be center, and justify content will be also center. Okay, so that's that. Now, the next thing which you have to do is to just give them a little bit of height of like 100 reach and overflow will be hidden margin will be zero save it and this is how it looks like right now okay now let's just get our empty class which is this one in all of these so now let me just get there and now let's just tile that up so i'm going to give a height of like 200 pixel duplicate this line of code and also the width will be 200 pixel. now let me just give a margin of like 10 pixel all around and border will be just three pixel solid wide okay and now let me just provide a little bit of background it will be now set to totally white and now so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now the next thing which you have to do is to get or fill um container so now let me just get this fill and inside there we are going to be just writing our background color and now not color but background image because we are going to be providing an image here and now i'm gonna just write like a url in here and you know what we are going to be getting our url or image unsplash.com and we want to get a random image of like 200 by 200 so if i just copy that and if i hit enter so anytime we refresh our browser so it will give us like random picture so it will be like 200 by 200 so if i just refresh it one more time and it will now give me let me just pass this link here and if i hit enter and it will now give us like a random picture right here okay so now i'm going to just pass this link right here the next thing i would do is i'll just pour a little bit of height like 195 would be fine 195 pixel duplicate and width will be also 195 so now i'm going to just give a cursor of pointer save it and 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 we have this image right here so once we hover over it so our cursor will be also changed to pointer all right so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is to get or class which you are going to be using inside a javascript so i'm going to just write like howard um howard class and it will be now set to like background color will be now set to like totally green and border will be just like three pixel three pixel all around and dashed and also white okay so save it and now let me just provide this class to like each of them let me just write um h-o-e-e-r-e-d hover and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let me just remove that all right so that's that now the next thing which i have to do is to just provide a little bit of black media query for the max width and it will be now set to like um uh, let me just put 800 pixel and body will be just flex direction to column seven 
and if you just hit a little bit of media query so it will know body direction will be now set to like a column so now we are done with the html and css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity so the first thing i would do is i'm gonna just first of all get my fill container and i'm gonna just write like document.query selector and then just get our fill right here okay now the next thing which you have to do is to get all of our empties okay so now let me just get like query selector all and here i'm going to just provide our empty right here and now let me just uh log both of them like we have this fill duplicate and we have these empties and now if we save it i guess i messed up a little all right so copy paste save and now let me just open my console so here you can see we have fill container and we have all of these empties right here all right so now we perfectly selected that we have to just iterate or through these empties by using a for off loop so i'm gonna just write like const empty of empties okay so now let me just write like empty dot add event listener to not empties but for this empty like um this variable right here so you want to attach add event listener for all of these uh events so you are going to be just writing like a uh, drag or and now let me just write like a drag or in here and let me just duplicate that a few times so now let's just change this one to like drag enter and this one to be like drag leave and finally um this one will be drag uh drop okay so that's that now let me just change this one as well so drag enter lowercase then we have a drag leave and finally we have a drop and now the next thing which you have to do is that we also have to attach this uh event listener to this uh fill container as well so we are going to be just using like fill uh fill dot add event listener of once we just drag start so we want to call this function which will be just like drag and then start okay so now let's just duplicate there and change this one to like drag and end okay all right so now we get our stuff and we attach event listeners to it so now let's just finally create this function right here so the first thing i would do is i'm going to start with this function of um drag start okay and inside this drag start we are going to be just using like set time out of let me just call this function right here of um this dot class name and it will be now set to class name and it will be now set to like invisible add a curly brace here and add a curly brace there and finally let's just add our comma zero okay so that's our first function the next thing which you have to do is to create our new function which will be drag n and now let's just write like this dot class name will be equals to fill this fill class is this one which we've created inside our css right here okay now the next thing which you have to do is to create our uh, function with a drag over and now let's just provide our e in there because we want our event and we want to just uh, remove that default prevention so we want to just provide like prevent uh, prevent default okay so uh, that's that so it allows us to like do not uh, refresh our browser once we are dragging over now the next thing which you have to do is to create a function with a drag enter name and now we have to provide our e there and then just write like e dot prevent default and also this dot class name will be now plus equals to and i want you to provide a space in there because and here we are going to be placing our hard space because we are just appending this class right here we are not adding it and we are not just setting it but we are appending it so you have to provide this space right here and we have this hard class which we have set right here okay so the background will be poly green and border will be like three pixel dashed and then four and then totally white okay so once we save it now the next function which you have to create is function drag leave okay so now let me just write like this dot class name and it will be now set to empty okay so you want to provide this class which is this empty class right here okay so that's then now let's just create a final function which will be like drag draw function inside this drag draw function we are going to be setting the class name to be like empty and also this dot append append will be equals to or fill so now let me just write this fill and this fill is this uh fill container so if you just refresh your browser and now it will give us this my cycle kind of image so if i just drag there and now here you can see it will now give us this green color and if we just leave that in here so here you can see it will now place it right here okay so now let me just uh, refresh it one more time so that we can get our new image 
and I don't like this one. Let me just refresh. <laughs> refresh. Come on, give me another image. All right, sir, will not give me any image. You know what? I'm gonna make a changes in here. One or twelve, seven. Now let me just change this one to zero. Come on, you won't allow me to give me a new image. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> right click on it and stop the live server, and then I'm gonna reopen it one more time. I'm that much kind of a tricky person. <laughs> Now it will definitely give me this new image. All right, so now if I just uh, pass it right here and everything is working, then we expect him to work. All right, so now we are done with this project. So this is what I want to show you in this project. And I think that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.